Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the GY11 ME NS from Takamine Guitars. This guitar features laminated mahogany top, back and sides, a mahogany neck with a laurel fingerboard and a nut width of 42.5mm. The entire instrument is finished in a satin finish and electronics are provided by Takamine's own TP40 preamp and the guitar has an RRP of £319. The GY11 is part of the G series from Takamine, an entry level range which aims to provide performance at affordable prices. So let's have a listen to the guitar now and then come back afterwards for my thoughts. Obviously this guitar is quite plain looking, uh, it's very stripped down and there's not many small details to pour over, but I do think there's a certain cuteness to its stripped down look. The satin finish is evenly applied and the build quality is very good, particularly when you consider the price. All of the woodwork looks to be very neat and the guitar feels like it's very solidly built. The laurel wood that's used for the bridge is very light in colour and that does stand out a little bit on the darker top. But aside from that, I can't really find anything to criticise about this guitar aesthetically or from a build quality point of view. I think it's fair to say that this guitar does sound like a small guitar. There's not a lot of deep bass and there's definitely a certain boxiness to the tone. It's not a bad sounding guitar, but I think the combination of all laminate construction and a small body make it very dry sounding with not a great deal of overtones. It has a bit of a spiky tone and some of the notes do leap out a bit more than others and overall the sound is just a tad bit out of control. Having said that, the sound from the playing position was surprisingly full and quite enjoyable so it's not all bad news when it comes to the tone. That said, from the playing position the sound was surprisingly full and enjoyable so that's definitely a positive point. 
the sound of the built-in pickup is a little bit harsh, although to be fair to the guitar, it's not actually that far off the sound of some under saddles I've heard in much more expensive guitars. And you do have a built-in three band EQ if you want to be able to adjust that tone a bit when plugged in. The tuner built into the preamp worked well, and I think at this price point to have a pickup with a tuner and a three band EQ built in, well to me that seems like a good deal. The guitar would definitely benefit from a good setup. If you purchase from a respectable dealer then hopefully they'd include that in the price, but as the guitar was shipped to us I did feel that the action was a little bit high. The nut width is pretty narrow, but the neck itself does have a nice D shape to it. Although the shoulders are a little bit square, so if you play with your thumb over the top a lot, it might be worth just sitting down with this guitar and playing with it for a little while just to make sure that neck is going to work for you. I think this guitar would be suitable for intermediate players looking to take a step up from their first instrument, and those who also might be looking to get out into performing live. For a £300 guitar, the pickup included is pretty decent, and I think once the guitar had a good setup, it would be a very nice stepping stone before moving on to a higher level guitar. I also think players wanting a smaller bodied acoustic for, say, camping or travelling would enjoy this guitar too. As it's a laminate construction, it'll be a little bit tougher than a solid wood guitar. And because it's got a built-in pickup, should you find yourself with an impromptu gig or at an open mic night, well, you're ready to go, aren't you? At this price point, there are plenty of Far Eastern guitars made, and some of those guitars will come with a solid wood top, unlike this particular model. That said, the build quality of those guitars can vary, and where I think this guitar particularly punches above its weight is with the build quality. And with the included pickup, the price of £319 seems very reasonable to me. If I could change anything about this guitar, I'd wish that it'd come to us with a better setup. However, I think once that was rectified, anybody purchasing this instrument would find themselves with a very well-made guitar at a very reasonable price. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on other social media to be kept up to date with news and new videos. And we look forward to seeing you again soon.